Welcome to Live, Life Inspired Views for Every Day. My name is Chris Meyer, and I'm a curious soul. A week ago, I went to my 50th high school class reunion in Menominee, Wisconsin. I hadn't been back for 10 years. <laughs> Turned out to be my favorite class reunion. Do you know why? Because after all these years, no one cared. They did care to be there, to see people, to revisit old memories and relationships, but they didn't care how old they looked, who was the cool person, the in crowd, how successful you became, or who may have had the best physique. <laughs> they just loved talking with each other, participating in new and renewed friendships. I was struck at the comfortable transparency we had at this age. No one seemed to hold any pretenses. I didn't want it to end. Why couldn't we have been this way in high school? Why does this thing called maturing happen later? Why do we have to sometimes painfully endure the maturing process that we cannot avoid as we try to on different ways of being until we finally land on the fact that the most valuable relationships are the authentic kind, the kind that hold no expectations than to be who we truly are? That is what makes us stickable, like adhesive that sticks to a surface that will hold it firmly. I call that Velcro and Velcro. When you're with some people who are trying to be something they are not, who try, let their ego or fear be the dominating factor, I call that Velcro and silk because there's nothing to stick to. Being with those charming classmates who I had the chance to reacquaint myself with again reminded me of one of my favorite children's books by Mo Willems entitled We Are in a Book. I've read a, written about it before, but it bears repeating. In the book, Gerald the Elephant and Piggy discover they are in a book, and someone is looking at them. Together they discover that it is a reader who is looking at them. They get so excited and soon find they can make the reader say anything they want them to say. Suddenly Gerald discovers that the book will end. He panics and learns it will end on page 57. We, they are on page 46, and he learns that there is not much time left. He cries, this book is going too fast. I have more to give, more jo words, more jokes. And then he profoundly says, I just want to be read. Piggy has an idea. They ask the reader to please read them again. Hmm. This, to me, has a lot to do with our lives from high school to 50th class reunions. Throughout our lives, we don different personas in the attempt to find our true selves, the self we feel that reflects who we believe to be our authentic self. Often, insecurities deny the pleasure for some to live out that true self in public. When Gerald and Piggy realized the end of the book is coming, they suddenly realized they hadn't been intentional with their time to do what was important or meaningful. In the end of their story, they know that their life is important to someone, the reader, who is reading them. They in turn learn that they just want to be read and don't want the book to end. Isn't that, that life? We learn through the turns and dips of life that the most fulfillment comes in relationships with others as we find the reflection that gives us value, value that comes from people caring to know who we are, and especially from people in our world who care to be there, taking time to know us, our story, and in turn allow us to learn their story as well. We just want to be read and to read the stories of others before we come to the end of our book. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. It's not easy to remain true to yourself. It requires bravery and encouragement, willingness to be rejected, hurt, or totally fulfilled. It also takes practice. Our default is to protect ourselves from hurt, so we hide behind masks and try to be like others, fit in, just to be liked and accepted. But which is worse? That is the question to ask yourself. A little nugget that might help you is that if you look at most other people, you soon realize that they too are often afraid of being themselves, of hurt and rejection, some of our worst fears. Then the 50th class reunions come along, and we get the opportunity to be read again. 
perhaps the sweetness of those late-in-life acquaintances, is that in reading us again, new pleasure comes to the relationship because we have had the chance to edit the story as we have grown into our authentic selves. This week on your bathroom mirror, write, I can be brave and let others read my real story. Join me next Monday for Live, Life-Inspired Views for Every Day. I'm Chris Meyer, and I'm a curious soul.